Today, we're talking about Bitcoin privacy. Some of you may have seen, whether it was on social media uh, or certain other publications, news around Wasabi Wallet. And so in today's video, we're going to break down what happened, what you should be aware of, and what you can potentially do next. Let's jump in. Welcome back to another video. My name is Ian Major. I'm an entrepreneur, Bitcoin pleb, and all around raging capitalist. And it is on a sober note that I do today's video. Uh, we're going to go into what has happened, what was recently announced uh, by Wasabi Wallet, really by ZK Snacks, which is the parent company behind Wasabi Wallet, and why what they said has the community up in arms. And we're going to also talk about some of the uh, alternatives that you may want to consider given this news. So you're not going to want to miss a minute of this video. For those returning to the channel, welcome back, my friends. As always, it is great to have you. And for those new to the channel, I welcome you as well. I know many of you are currently watching and not subscribed. So if you like this content, I invite you to consider subscribing and join us in our growing merry gang in cyberspace. I cover all manner of Bitcoin related content including a slew of different tutorials around securing your Bitcoin, acquiring Bitcoin, running your own node, mining, you want it, I cover it. But without further ado, let's jump in to the meat for today. All right, so just as a quick refresher for those who may not be as familiar, Wasabi is a desktop Bitcoin wallet that is popular, particularly amongst those who have an eye for privacy, given that Wasabi has an embedded coin join coordinator. And as a quick reminder, a coin join is basically a collaborative transaction where you're essentially joining forces with other participants, other users of Bitcoin, uh, and kind of combining your coins together with them in such a way that it makes it difficult for chain surveillance firms or someone looking at the public blockchain that is Bitcoin to discern which outputs from a transaction, from that coin join transaction, uh, are you know definitively connected to which inputs that came into that transaction. So it becomes a way to obfuscate the go forward ownership uh, of coins or of UTXOs unspent transaction outputs. The analogy here is kind of like surrounding yourself by a crowd, right? If you were out on the street uh, and you know someone looked out their window and saw just you, it'd be pretty easy to spot you. However, if you were to surround yourself with other individuals and if you were to all be dressed in exactly the same way, now it becomes a lot more difficult to spot exactly you in that lineup. And this is kind of an analogy for what is happening with a coin join uh, transaction. And so what has happened is that right about a week ago, as you can see, uh, ZK Snacks, which is the company behind Wasabi Wallet. So Wasabi Wallet started out as an open source you know, software project and really you know, grew in popularity to the point at which the founding team decided to spin up a company, which would you know, help with things like hiring uh, developers and you know, really scaling this as a uh, offering. But they have come out and basically announced that they would be censoring certain UTXOs or certain inputs from their coin join coordinator. So to be clear, whenever we say a coordinator, this is a centralized tool that passes information back and forth amongst the different users that are collaborating together to form this coin join transaction. And so a coordinator is one way uh, to do that coordination, essentially. And so if I'm a user of Wasabi, I will register some of my inputs to be to participate in a coin join transaction. And their coordinator is sort of coordinating that process uh, along with other participants who are doing the same. ZK Snacks has announced that they will start potentially censoring uh, UTXOs or certain inputs into that process. And you may think this is totally antithetical to the entire mission of making Bitcoin more fungible and more private uh, to users. And you would be right. What's even more alarming in this is that this was not prompted by any sort of specific legislation. You might have thought, oh, well, like, you know, unfortunately, Wasabi Wallet got too big and popular and uh, regulators are looking at this and thinking, oh, this is a way for you know, individuals to uh, illicitly launder money through Bitcoin. 
Uh, and I'm not saying that doesn't exist and that that doesn't happen. It certainly does. Uh, obviously, it happens in way greater magnitude uh, with with cash, with dollars. Uh, physical cash is way better to launder money through if you want to do that than you know than Bitcoin. But obviously, there is this kind of regulatory narrative uh, around it. But it's not like there is any specific legislation that prompted this. And the reason is that these coordinators really aren't any sort of money transmitter, right? Uh, they don't qualify as, or there's no legislation that indicates that these coordinators are money transmitters, and therefore any you know related regulation to that uh, is a moot point. And I think Samurai Wallet says it really well. Coinjoin coordinators are simply message passers. This is true of Wasabi and Whirlpool, which is what uh, is Samurai's um, Coinjoin implementation. They are not money transmitters. They are not facilitators. They simply pass data packets to connected clients. Clients never surrender custody to any third party. Clients collaborate with each other. They go on to say your ISP or your internet service provider is not responsible for the websites you visit, even though they serve you the data packets that made your visit possible. Your VPN is not responsible for copyright infringement when you illegally download a torrent. This is absolutely true. The ability to share data freely, be it books, art, media, thoughts, and ideas, or UTXO state, is essential for free society and is fundamentally human. The radical encroachment of the state into the lives of ordinary law-abiding citizens is on a concerning upward trajectory. By bending the knee to regulatory overreach instead of fiercely fighting, especially when you have the resources to do so effectively, they're pointing at uh, you know ZK Snacks and Wasabi, you tacitly accept and endorse that overreach and the next one. Give an inch and they'll take several miles. And I think this perfectly encapsulates the concern that this has rightly raised within the community, right? If there was no real legislation or legislative pressure that prompted this, uh, and this was just the you know CEO of uh, ZK Snacks saying, I think we should proactively do this in order to position ourselves as a kind of, you know, uh, compliant entity. Don't get me wrong. That's a, that was probably a hard business decision. Uh, I can tell you that a lot of the Wasabi developers are not happy with this at all. So it is curious. It makes you wonder about the structure of this organization. Uh, you know, the CEO at the top has maybe made a, uh, a call that many within the team did not agree with. Uh, but it sort of is what it is. And so they've clearly put their stake in the ground to say we are a compliant uh, service, you know, regardless of what kind of regulation comes out in the future. And this will literally require them to partner with a chain surveillance firm in order to ensure that flagged UTXOs are not making it into the coordinator. That might conjure in your mind the, that's a bold strategy, Cotton, let's see if it pays off for them uh, meme. And uh, I don't think it will. Now, as alarming as this is, it should be noted that Wasabi Wallet could in theory work with other coordinators that do not censor UTXO inputs. Um, right now, they use by default the coordinator of ZK Snacks, right? Because it's the company behind this whole thing. But you could imagine, and in fact, you know, you already see uh, some murmurings about forking the Wasabi Wallet code in order to develop a coordinator that does not censor inputs. I have no doubt we will see that at some point in the future. But for now, I cannot in good conscience recommend Wasabi when there are other fantastic alternatives on the market. And so I've added a disclaimer to some of my past Wasabi Wallet videos. I'm not going to remove the videos. Um, I still think they're useful information. They go into a lot of the concepts behind CoinJoin, uh, but I've added a disclaimer just so folks go into things with their full eyes open. So that is what it is. This now begs the question, those who are looking for something different are looking for an alternative given this. I don't blame you one bit. And the good news is that there are alternatives. So let's talk through that next. All right, so the first alternative I'll speak about is Samurai Wallet with their Whirlpool CoinJoin implementation. And so Samurai is similar to Wasabi in the sense that it uses a centralized uh, coordinator. 
you know, don't get too fixated on the centralized term there. Uh, all of this is still fully non-custodial. You always uh, retain the keys to your coins. It's just a centralized coordinator that is managing the message transfers back and forth that enable this collaborative type of Bitcoin transaction. And so Wasabi Wallet is a mobile uh, Bitcoin wallet for Android only. Uh, I've done a bunch of tutorials on this. I've gone through how to de-Google a Pixel phone if you want to you know, be really private with that Android device that you're running Samurai Wallet on. I've also done a full-blown tutorial of Samurai Wallet itself. So I will link those resources in the description down below for you to take a look at. If you're like, mm, you know what, like I'm an iPhone user, I'm just literally never going to get a, you know, an Android ever, ever. Uh, the good news is that there is Sparrow Wallet. Sparrow Wallet is a desktop wallet that you can download on your computer, which has Samurai's Whirlpool embedded. Very, very cool stuff. And I've also done a tutorial on Sparrow Wallet. So I'll put all those resources in the description down below. Uh, for you to take a look at. And having used Samurai Wallet myself, I can tell you it is an absolute beast. Uh, when you think of the CoinJoin transaction process itself, of course that's important, but there's also what are called post-mix spending tools. These are tools to ensure that as you're spending Bitcoin after you've done the mixing, that you're not inadvertently recombining some of those outputs in a way that basically undoes all the privacy gains you just uh, you just gained. And so Samurai Wallet is so far ahead of the game there, it's almost hard to even describe. They have absolutely unquestionably the best post-mix spending tools and they've, they've thought of everything. So again, check out those other tutorials where I go into depth into each of those. Beyond Samurai Wallet, there is also uh, Join Market. Join Market takes a very different approach. So Join Market is open source software, just like Samurai Wallet is as well. But instead of a centralized coordinator, they use a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, process and system. So it's literally like you know going and, and showing up you know, in cyberspace and finding fellow you know Bitcoiners who want to come in on this collaborative Bitcoin transaction. It should be worth noting that there are tools like Stowaway that essentially uh, allow Samurai users to coordinate together in interesting ways. So I just wanted to mention that. But Join Market is a pure sort of peer-to-peer -peer process by which users can collaborate on this. Now the issue with Join Market, Join Market's been around for a long while since uh, 2015, but the issue with Join Market has been a, a rather difficult uh, user experience. And so you know you have some UI through node implementations like Rasp Blitz, uh, but it's been pretty tough. And you know you have to do a little bit of command line uh, action to you know to make everything work. And so that's pretty prohibitive for a lot of folks. The good news is that contributors to Join Market are developing a fully revamped UI that's going to make Join Market a lot more accessible and easy to use, which is super exciting. Uh, right now, they are in what we might call kind of alpha stage release. So they're still doing a lot of testing. But if you are so interested in being a early guinea pig and you have something like Raspy Blitz or uh, even Umbral as your node, you can now play around with the updated UI. So Umbral, if you, up, if you update Umbral to the latest uh, version, you will see Jam, which is uh, this join market app. So very, very cool stuff. I'm definitely gonna do a video in the future on Join Market. I'll probably wait until the code is more stable uh, in order to do that. Uh, but that is another very exciting option that you should very much be aware of. With all of that, let's go ahead and conclude today's video. All right, my friends, there you have it. It's pretty sad what has happened. Uh, my heart does go out to a number of the folks on the Wasabi Wallet team. Uh, whom you know I've interacted with and know the ethos that they've embodied through their personal contributions to Wasabi Wallet. It's just sad because a lot of that has now sort of washed away with this kind of one sweeping decision, presumably from the top of, of, of the company. And it just goes to show you this kind of tension between open source projects and software within Bitcoin. Uh, and then when you have a company wrapper sort of come around it. So I sympathize with a lot of the contributors to Wasabi Wallet, but that doesn't change the reality. ZK Snacks has decided to implement this censorship, and that is totally antithetical 
to the entire mission here of Bitcoin privacy. And so again, to reiterate, I cannot with good conscience recommend Wasabi Wallet any longer, at least until we have a, a coordinator that does not you know, do censoring, but that is probably going to be a long ways off. So if you want to switch or if you're kind of new to this uh, whole space of Bitcoin privacy and you're looking for good options, you got to check out Samurai Wallet, absolute must. And Join Market is another fantastic uh, option. I'm curious to hear what you think. Let me know your thoughts and questions down in the comments below. But for now, we'll go ahead and leave this here. I hope you found this valuable and useful. If you did, you already know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. But for now, we'll go ahead and leave this here. As always, every sat counts. And until next time, I'll see you then. <music>